friends in today's class in organic name reaction section we are going to start a name reaction that is open your oxidation reaction so if you watch this video completely you will learn about the reaction mechanism and its applications also right so let us start with the principle first what is the principle for the open your oxidation so principle is very simple you have to take alkoxide catalyst alkoxide catalyst and you are doing alkoxide catalyzed oxidation you are doing the oxidation process in presence of alkoxide catalyst right that will do the oxidation of secondary alcohol secondary alcohol will get converted into ketones so which catalyst we will utilize that is aluminum isopropoxide aluminum isopropoxide so you can see if you want to draw the structure of aluminum isopropoxide just draw aluminum put the three valency with oxygen connected to isopropoxide means this part you can see this part the upper part is isopropoxide right and same way you can draw here also you can draw here also a compound containing three isopropoxide group with aluminum is known as aluminum isopropoxide so that is the catalyst and we will convert the secondary alcohol into the ketone in this reaction let us see the reaction the reaction is starting from the secondary alcohol you can see oh is connected to a carbon which is connected to two different carbon right means two carbon so that is secondary alcohol now if you use acetone as a solvent and react with a catalyst aluminum isopropoxide that will convert your secondary alcohol into the secondary alcohol into the ketone you can see r1 r2 oh is converted into c double bond o oh, that is ketone right so how this happening we can see by the mechanism the mechanism is very simple you can see it start from the secondary alcohol as you know alcohol oxygen always possess two always possess two non bonded pair of electron so one will be donated to our catalyst aluminum isopropoxide so donation of electron to the aluminum will do nothing but the electron will come on the aluminum so electron density will be more which is unstable so aluminum will donate up our electron to the electron to the oxygen so what will happen this electron will be donated to the oxygen and this part will be a living group that will be a living group right and oxygen's electron came on the aluminum so that will create a bond that will create a bond now the hydrogen will lose its position and goes to the isopropoxide goes to the isopropoxide right so oxygen will connect to the aluminum so you will find you will find this product you will find this product it is intermediate one intermediate one so one one isopropoxide replaced by our alkoxide by our alkoxide which is prepared from our secondary alcohol right so that is the first step now we are going to carry forward this this intermediate to the next step in the next step what we are going to do that is nothing but a ketone which is as a solvent ketone which is as a solvent will coordinate with our intermediate so what will happen it will prepare you can see this ketone is written here ketone is written here i can highlight it with the yellow color you can see this ketone is this one right so now the oxygen will be donated oxygen will be donated to the aluminum from a pi bond right so pi bonds electron will be transferred to aluminum which will make a bond and coordination will be there now aluminum don't like the more electron density so it will donate electron to the oxygen oxygen right and due to the more density on oxygen the hydrogen will leave its position not as h plus but it will goes with the electron with the electron on positive carbon so the 
step is known as hydride transfer h with minus charge is known as hydride transfer right so hydrogen will go to the positive carbon with negative charge with electron and the formation of negative carbon hydrogen negative oxygen positive carbon electron donated to hydrogen so hydride is formed so there positive positive charge here negative that formation of ketone that is our desired product that is our desired product right how it form by the hydride transfer ketone will form as i seen the positive negative double bond will create here hydrogen will go to this position and finally uh, we will get the conversion of secondary alcohol into the ketone and the acetone will convert into secondary alcohol so after all what we got the secondary alcohol secondary alcohol get converted into the ketone which are the key points to remember here the cyclic transition transition state shows us the hydride transfer you can see a word is mentioned hydride transfer means h is not going as plus but h is going as minus in this mechanism right so that is the way how you can draw the mechanism now mechanism summary we can see in very short you can see the oxygen's electron donated to aluminum so aluminum will donate electron to isopropoxide and the secondary alcohol will be by product and we will get our intermediate which will coordinate with the acetone which was a solvent and the removal of removal of you can see the charge with oxygen is negative why because it gain electron hydrogen goes with the electron as a hydride so carbon will become positive now positive negative will create a double bond and hydrogen leave its position with the electron so the formation of secondary alcohol is by product and main product is this one you can see main product is this one double bond that is ketone that is ketone this is how the mechanism works for the open your oxidation it is very simple you can see and now let us see the application here one application you can see the focus should be on this carbon which is secondary alcohol which is secondary alcohol get converts into ketone get converts into ketone whatever you can see the other uh, reactant it is taken from a research paper so it is mentioned here but your your target area is to secondary alcohol converts into ketone that is open your oxidation reaction same way we can see the another example you can see oh is present in form of secondary alcohol after all it will get converted into ketone and as you can see some other reagents are also here but that should be taken from the reference and this reference i utilized for the preparation of this slide and another one reference i utilized that is the name reaction book that is g directly in my video right so thank you very much for listening me patiently if you not subscribe to my channel subscribe the channel press the big bell icon to get the new updates received and like the video if you like the content thank you very much for listening me patiently thank you